Than two dozen suspects in Indianapolis now face federal charges as part of Operation Legend. Federal authorities have been assisting police investigate that disturbing spike in violence in the Circle City. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox. The surge in resources started three weeks ago. It's a direct response to the rising number of homicides in Indianapolis. CBS 4's Kelly Rinke shows us how investigators are working to get crime out of neighborhoods. Kelly? Bob and Debbie, the goal is to make Indianapolis safer by taking guns, drugs, and violent offenders off the streets. Cooperation from the community plays a big role in that, too. I still have this image of a 10-year-old boy, and that's all I have. Shannon Swanson's son, Deshaun, was supposed to turn 15 last month, but a violent night almost five years ago forced her to spend another birthday without him. And they took his life in front of me, and it was a horrible experience. He was murdered in a drive-by shooting in Butler, Tarkington, not far from this park where he played football. His case still remains unsolved. I want to know who so I can seek justice for him because they took a life that night. Federal and local partners do not want another family to feel her pain. Almost three weeks ago, Operation Legend launched in Indianapolis to reduce violent crime in the city. Arresting those individuals who have committed violent crimes in the past that are out again or who are known to carry firearms, that that could have a positive impact towards the homicide rate. When Supervisory Special Agent Nathan Husak began working on Operation Legend, Indianapolis saw 146 homicides. We did not reach that number until mid-November last year. So we're looking to do make more of an impact in more of a condensed time period. So far, more than two dozen people are facing federal charges as part of this effort, including two people accused of being involved in this shooting in late July. One man lost his life. We're able to bring closure to cases more rapidly with additional resources on the investigation. Investigators have seized more than 60 guns in just a few weeks, and IMPD can analyze those weapons to track down violent criminals. To continue to reduce gun violence in Indianapolis, what we need is the community's um, partnership. A partnership that could bring hope to families forever impacted by the crime in our city. We need them off the street. We need people to talk. And U.S. Attorney Josh Minkler promised harsh pun punishments from cases prosecuted by Operation Legend with no plea bargaining and no pretrial release, Bob. Kelly, what about the homicide rate? Has it gone down since Operation Legend began? Yeah, that was something I was curious about, too. There were 13 homicides in August after Operation Legend launched in the city. During the same time period last year, there were 11 homicides. The FBI tells me it may be too soon to answer that question since there are still a few weeks left, but they will definitely be comparing those crime stats at the end of this 45-day commitment, guys. Kelly Rinke in the newsroom. Thank you. Well, bars and